Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on Shiny and in this tutorial we will see uh, how to create a um, text input widget um, and use it in our application. It's kind of a simple text box and we will look at it. Let's see how it looks like. So let me first see if I am in the uh, correct our working directory. Okay. So I already have the uh, required um, ui.r and server.r files and we can use the run app command to run the shiny app. And if we if we see here, this is basically what we are going to make. Um, and at the by the end of the tutorial, this is what we will have. So here is the title panel. This is the uh, main panel, and this is the sidebar panel. In the sidebar panel, um, if you remember from the last class, we did some uh, um, text printing in the different panels. And in addition to that, uh, this time we'll be having these uh, two text boxes or text input. Uh, the first one here is and is to enter the name and the second one is to enter the age. So this is how this is going to work. If I enter the name, Abhinav, age, 30. And if you notice here, whatever we are printing, uh, sorry, whatever we are entering in the text box, is getting printed here this is the main panel so let's get started okay so we are in our studio and let's create the ui dot uh, r file we'll start with loading the shiny package library shiny and we will tell r that we are talking about shiny UI okay within that we will have the fluid page and within fluid page we will have two components the first one will be title panel and I'm just laying out the structure or skeleton whatever you say and then we will fill out uh, the rest of the things and the other one was sidebar layout and within sidebar layout we had two functions and uh, the first one was sidebar panel and the second was main panel okay so this uh, this is our uh, ui dot r and we are going to also create another file and this will be the server.r so let's define as uh, let's load the package shiny package once again library shiny and this time we will tell r that we are talking about the server file so it will start with shiny server function within that we have a function which takes two arguments one is the input other is the output and for now we will leave the function um, as empty and let's go ahead and save these two files the first one will be ui.r and the second file will be server.r let's click on run app and see um, uh, confirm there are no errors okay title is missing of course we, we didn't put anything in the title so uh, that's what the error is all about let's put something in the title so that we get rid of it and also we start printing the text demonstration of text input widget in shiny and let's print out because on the left hand side we had um, our text saying enter the personal 
information and in the main panel just uh, whatever the user enters would be printed or appear so it would be personal information let's go ahead and see what happens we'll still leave the server.r empty for now the function empty for now uh, we'll use it to uh, render the text you uh, entered by the user later on let's go ahead and do the run app okay so we now see um, uh, a text in title panel or the header panel some text in the main panel and also a text in the sidebar panel so we have um, text um, appearing now let's go ahead and introduce the the widget here in order to do so, um, since it is sidebar panel, so we have to focus here and let's go ahead and put the widget as text import and this takes three arguments, the text input, uh, by, um, this, this uh, sorry the input ID the input ID will be used to identify this particular um, input variable whatever value is entered by the user can be accessed using this ID the label is basically uh, the text we want to appear over the um, just above the text box uh, telling the user what it is all about value is the um, default value we want to appear within the text and in this case uh, we will leave it um, blank so since uh, the first text box will be for name so we can have the ID as name and we can put the label just above the text box as enter your name and we will leave the value as blank and let's go ahead and put another text box here text input and this time it will be age so the ID um, I want the variable name to be age and the label enter enter your age and then again the value the the default value as space so let's go ahead and run the app and see how it appears. Okay, we don't have. Okay, we missed. Um... Okay, so we see that we have uh, now two widgets. Um, a text box for name and a text box for age or we can say text input for name and text input for age now what we need next is to program our code in such a way that if I enter the name and age it should be displayed in our main panel so let's go ahead and work it out now the way it is going to work is uh, we are going to access the variables um, name and age or basically the values um, which are entered by the user using these IDs in the server.r file. So this function here we see it takes, uh, it has two arguments input and the output this input is actually it is taking from 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 the ui dot r the name and age and basically it will return the output and the way we access the input is input dollar followed by the id and this would be name the first input and the second input would be input dollar age what we want is we want to use these IDs or basically um, uh, we want to use these variables we can say variables and assign it to the output variable and how we do that is we will use 
something called um, first of all we will define the output uh, variable so output dollar my name my name is the variable output variable and output dollar my name shows that um, this is output input dollar name shows that name is input variable so it's just that we use a dollar sign to indicate um, you know what type of variable it is if it is input dollar something that means it's a it's an input variable if it is output dollar something that would mean that it's um, uh, output variable output dollar my name and then we use render text uh, what render text would do is basically render text would um, uh, use the um, the input and render it so whenever the user enters something in the in the input uh, text input box or text box um, it will give a reactive effect and and the um, the display in the main panel will show the changes whatever is entered the same value will be will will appear in the main panel and we will see so in the render text we will use the input name same thing we can do for age so in this case we can say my age my age is the name of my output variable we will again use the render text function to render our input and in this case we will use the age variable using input dollar age and so basically we are done with rendering using our inputs and rendering and assigning them to the output variable and now what we need to do is we need to use the output variable here in in the main panel and print them so how do we do that so here we will say text output and then we will give the name of the output variable my name and then we will again say text output my age text output is basically it's like kind of um, print text kind of thing so uh, it's it's basically used for uh, printing strings and text output will take the um, output variable this output variable is coming from um, from the uh, shiny server function and this will print the uh, my name the name and age entered by the user real time reactively in the main panel let's run the app okay forgot to close okay so we, here we have the app and say I type Abhinav my name it's reactively printing here in the main panel I put the age and age gets printed